Welcome to the West Cork Crochet Channel and welcome to this seamless top-down lacy two-way poncho. Information on the written pattern can be found in the description box. For this project my yarn recommended a 4mm hook and I used a 4.5mm hook for a slightly looser stitch. I also used a tape measure, stitch markers and a yarn needle. As always, if you do like this one, send that message to YouTube by tapping the thumbs up button. For future projects, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and if your account is set to public, do tag me in on any pictures of your West Cork crochet projects. Today I'm working with a 4.5mm hook. My yarn recommends 4mm, so I've gone a little bit bigger just to get some movement in the end result. I don't want um, too rigid a fabric because it's a poncho, it needs to move. So I need to take one measurement and that measurement is from the front, the top of my shoulder on the very top, down to the point of the V on the neckline or where I want that to be. For me, I'm going to take 20 centimeters. I multiply that by four to get four sides. So I need to work a chain of roughly 80 centimeters. I've worked my chain roughly up to the length that I need. And now I need to make sure that my chains are a multiple of six. And not just that, it also needs to be an even multiple of six. So it can be two times six, four times six, six times six, eight times six, so on. It cannot be one times six, three times six, five times six. I hope that makes sense. So it needs to be an even multiple of six chains. For me, the closest I can get is 120, which is 20 times six. The easiest way to get to your number is to count how many chains you've worked for your rough measurement then divide that number by six and then just round it to the nearest multiple of six. And then you just have to make sure that that multiple of six is an even multiple. So round up or down to get to, to get to your number that you need and then just check that measurement again and make sure that you're happy with it. So once you've got your chain, I need to make a loop. So make sure that your chain's not twisted. Add your first chain onto your hook and pull that through for a slip knot to join for a loop. Next you have two options. You can either slip stitch into your first chain and then chain up three. And that's your first double crochet. Oops. Or back it up work a standing double. To do that I pull up my loop the height of a double crochet. I'm just going to give it a twist to pull the strands together. I wrap it around my hook keeping my finger planted on the loop to keep it still. I go in through the stitch, pull back a loop, put three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops and that's a standing double. So either that or chain three. Then I'm going to chain three more. And I'm going to put the double crochet in the same stitch to create a V. Now this row is all Vs. So I'm going to go around creating Vs all the way around the loop. I'm going to chain three in between each and skip five chains on my chain. And just twist it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five into the sixth chain, double crochet. Chain three, double crochet in the same spot. And that's the second V. So again, chain three, Skip five, one, two, three, four, five, into number six, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. So that's the pattern all the way around with just two exceptions. 
This is why we needed an even multiple of six because at the halfway point, I'm going to put two Vs, which I guess is a W. We'll call it a W. So I need to put a W at the halfway point and a W at the start. So I've already worked one V here, so I just need a second V when I close the round. And I've done that in two halves on purpose. So start with one V, end with a second V, making the W. And at the halfway point, I've got um, 20 multiples of six. So after I've worked 10 Vs on the 11th, I need to work the W. We'll be back there. I got my 10 Vs. I'm on for a W. So chain three as uh, standard. Skip five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Work the first of two Vs. Same as usual. Into the same stitch. But then I'm going to chain three and add a third double crochet into that same stitch. So I have that. And then I go back to working these all the way around to the start where I'll work the second W. We're back there. I go all the way around. Last V, chain three. I've got this five chains to skip. I'm going to put a double crochet back into the first stitch to turn that V into a W. Chain three and slip stitch either into your chain three or the top of the standing double. to close the round. There you go. So there's a W and a whole string of V's and a W at the other corner. So the next row is a shell row and it starts to repeat from here. So the next two rows are on repeat. So I've just slip stitched into close the round. I'm going to turn around and either slip stitch into this chain space, the first half of your W, and chain three, or I'm going to work a standing double straight into that V. Oops, not clicked on it. And then I'm going to work the rest of the shell. So that's one. And the shell consists of three doubles, chain three, three doubles. So that's one. So your chain three is one, two, V, three chains, three more doubles. Shell number one. The shells are worked into the V's, so skip this little irregular shape here, straight into the next V, no chaining in between, work the next shell. So it's three doubles. Chain three. Three more doubles. shell number two. So I'm going to work that way in every V, a chain. I'll meet you at the W. So there's my shells up to the W point. W is here. So as usual, I'm going to go straight into the next V, the first half of the W, work a shell.
And I'm also going to work a shell down the other side into the second part of the W, the second V. But first, chain three. And this is the only time I'm chaining three between the shells. These are the W points. So shell, chain three, second shell down the other side of the W. And that's what we do with the W's. So shell, chain three, second shell. From here I'm back to normal. Shell, 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 all the way home. Back round at the start, and I have the second half of my W. Here's the first half with a shell in it, and here's the second half. So I'm going to put a shell in there. I'm going to chain three, just like I did with the other, other W on the other side. And then to close, slip stitch into the top of my stitch number one for the third chain, if you work in a chain three. And that closes the round. For round three, which is the second row of the repeat, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to slip stitch back into this area here. This is between the two shells on the W. And I'm going to work half of my next W here. So either chain three or work standing double. So I'm always going to start the round working half of the W and finish the round working the second half and then round at the other side work the full W setup. So that's three chains or a standing double, chain three, second double for the first half of the W. Second half will be worked in the same sp spot sorry, and slip stitch into there to close. We'll get to that in a minute. Next V is worked on top of the shell. So chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the shell space. Like so. Chain three. Next V, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the shell space. I'll work that way all the way around. I'll meet you up the next W. From here at the W, to just chain three after the last V stitch on top of the last shell there. Here's the shell from the W, chain three, shell. So, I work a V into the first shell. Chain three. And then I'm going to work a W into the middle bit. So let's double crochet. Chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet all in the same spot. And that's where the double U's go, in the middle between the two shells where you work your chain three. Then chain three and another V on the other side. This is that good one. And then back to normal. V, 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 all the way back to the beginning. Back round at the start, I have where well, we've got the W situation happening here. 
which is going to form a V eventually, you'll see. Um, I've got one last V to work in the side shell, then the second part of the W. So I've already chained three, three into the shell with a V. Chain three into where I started for the second leg of the W, the third leg of the W, <laughs> second side. Chain three, slip stitch into this top stitch to close. And that's how we finish that one. So that's round two. So sorry, round three, but round two of the repeat. So row two and three are just on repeat now until you get the length that you want. So you turn around. Slip stitch into this space here. And work a shell. Then you put the shell here, a shell here, a shell here, and then obviously around the other side, when you come to close, you do your second shell, chain three, slip stitch to close. But that's all in um, row two, which you can click back on. There's a link in the description to click back to row two and row three as many times as you need to. Um, so just keep going until you get the length that you want. I'll just show you what it looks like after a couple of rows. Hang on a second. So here's what I have after 10 rows. And as you can see, all this W palaver has created a nice little V-neck and a pointy end. I've worked 26 rows and I'm happy with my length. At this point, you can leave it as is with the um, shell edge scalloped. I'm going to add a bottom trim. So to start with, I need to close off these shells. I can't possibly get this all on camera, so I'm not even going to try. So <laughs> you refer to the end picture. I've slip stitched into the space as I'd normally start the next round, into the space between the two shells. I'm going to chain one to build up the yarn. And I'm going to work a single crochet into that space. And then I have a space to cover. So I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to single crochet, sorry, into the next chain space. And I'm going to go for the next chain space. I'm going to chain five in between. So one, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet into there. And that's what I'm going to do the whole way around, except for the end sections. So chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet. I'll meet you at the other end. I've worked all the way down one side. I'm here at the other corner, at the other side. I'm going to chain three, single crochet into the pointy end, chain three, single crochet down the other side, and then I'm back to chain five all the way to the other end. Here at the other end, the other corner, I'm going to chain three, slip stitch into my first single crochet. Next round, I'm just going to keep going in the same direction because I want my stitches to be facing outwards to the, out, to the right side. So I'm going to chain one to build up my yarn and I'm going to single crochet around through the gap. So for once, twice, and there'll be a third one in this gap when I close the round, but just for now two. For the chain three, I'm going to do three single crochet. Again, into the gap, so around the whole thing, for a single crochet, where I've got a single crochet. 
around the chain five, five, single crochet. Into the chain, around the whole thing, and then a single crochet. So again, five, one through the gap, five, one through the gap, all the way to the other corner. Here at the top corner, this is the top. I've just worked five around my chain five. And a single into there as normal. Three around the chain three. And then I'm going to work three single crochets around in this space at the corner. One, two, and three. So we'll space out. Three around chain three. One. In there around that space and then a batch of fives so five single five single all the way back down to home back round at the start got to work three single crochet around this last chain two and three I'm going to put my third single crochet around this end space then I'm going to slip stitch into my first single crochet that's my chain one if you can see that was the chain one to build up my yarn this is the first single crochet the middle of the three so remember I did two to start and I've just done an extra one for the third so I'm going to add the trim from here and I'm going to work that in front post back post double crochet for number one I need to work three all around the first stitch to keep this corner pointed. So either at this point you'll chain three or work a standing double around the first front post, which is the stitch that I'm currently in. If you're starting with chain three, here the chain three doesn't count as an actual stitch. So work your chain three to build up your yarn and then work your three stitches around the post. So for me, I'm gonna do a standing double. So I go in through the stitch in the normal way, back up through the next stitch, which goes around the post by default, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's stitch number one. Stitch number two, yarn over, I'm going from the back, in around the stitch, Back through the other side, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two to finish the stitch. Stitch number three, I'm going back in the first direction. So it's a bit messy on the corner, with three stitches in one. There they are. You might want to mark the middle stitch so it's absolutely clear which one that is on your way back around so from here i'm just going to put one stitch in each stitch front post back post alternating so that was a front so the next one i need to go in through the back so that was a back the next one's a front Next one's a back. And I'm going to do that the whole way around. When I get to the other point, at the other side, I'll work the three stitches all around that center stitch. I've worked all the way down one side. This is what the front post, back post looks like. You can see. I'm just at the corner stitch now, the middle of my three single crochets I added for the corner. So again, I've got to do 
three stitches around this one post. I've just done a front post, so I'm on for a back. So in around for a back post. Same stitch, front post. Same stitch. Oops. And I'll just remove it out of the way. Back post again. So just take it steady and make sure that you get your, your three stitches around that corner. So there I have one, two, and three. And then I'm back to one in each, all the way around. So I've just done a back, so I'm on for a front. On for a back. And just continue all the way around. So I've worked all the way around. I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch, which is next to the one I've marked, which is the center stitch. And that closes the round. At this point, if you're happy with one row, chain one and cut, I'm going to go on and make a second. So I'm just going to slip stitch first of all across my middle stitch. So I'm starting from the same point. And here I'm going to work around this post, the middle post the three that I worked together. So either chain three, again just to build up your yarn. So for me I'm just going to start with standing double around the back post stitch. So in through, oops, around the stitch, pull back a loop, pull through two, pull through two, that's stitch number one. Next one needs to be a front post. Stitch number two. And stitch number three needs to be a back post. And there's my three. So I'm on a front post next, and I'm just going to alternate all the way around. Again, I'll work the three at the other corner and back around to the start. So I'm working front post where there's a front post and back post where there's a back post, and at the corner stitch at the other side, I'll do three around the same, still alternating. So two rows worked for me. At the end, I slip stitched into my first stitch, chained one and cut my yarn and pulled that through. I'm going to work on the neckline next. So here at the neckline, I'm at the back. I'm going to start, this is the W, the three legs of. I'm going to start at one side of that W and through that chain space. I don't want to slip knot and pull it through and just chain one to secure. Okay, next I'm going to work these two stitches together as one, as a single crochet. So I go up into the loop, into the gap. So I get all these tail ends out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. So in through the gap, pull up a loop. In through the next gap, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through those three loops. And I've got one stitch in the corner. And here I'll just work around the chain as normal for five. Single crochet in the V, five around the chain, single crochet in the V, five around the chain, very similar to what happened at the bottom. At the front, two single crochets together to form one and all the way back round to the start. I've worked all the way around with a single crochet. I'm going to just slip stitch into the first one to close that off. At this point I'm going to work three stitches together to form one stitch but also maintaining the back post front post pattern. 
So either chain three, I'm going to ignore that chain three, it's just there to build up the yarn, it's not a, an actual stitch. For me, I'm just going to go straight for the standing double, sew around with my yarn, then I'm going to go in through stitch number one as a front post, yarn over, pull through a loop, whoops, there you go, yarn over, pull through two loops and hold it there, yarn over, back post for the second stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops and hold it there, yarn over for number three, back for a front post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then I've got four loops left on my hook, and yarn over, pull through all of those to finish. So I've got three stitches all formed into one, but I've kept the front, back, front going. So next is the back post, and I carry on until I get to the other point, side of the V, and then, did I just do a back post there? I did. And then I'll uh, go back to working three together. Shouldn't probably talk and try this at the same time. I'll be back at the other side and work three together again. Back at the second V. Come on for a back post to start. And then at front post. And then a back post. And that's the three work together there. Carry on for a front. And finish the round. Come all the way back round to the start. Slip stitch into stitch number one to close that round. I'm going to work another round and again I'm going to work three together to start. So again chain three or start and go straight in with the standing double. I'm going to work this one, this one and this post. Obviously this post has three posts but I'll just go around the whole thing as one. So this one's a back post so starting with that one. A loop, pull through two, yarn over, sew the three that are together, front post, through all the lot, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, again a back post, and then all through loops, four loops, sorry, together with one. And back to a front post. And so on all the way around. Again the same situation on the other side where I work three together to form one stitch and then carry on back round to the start. There I'm done I'll slip stitch into stitch number one chain one and cut my yarn. So that's two laps of the neckline I've already weaved in all of my ends so I'm all done. If you do all of that you'll have one of these. As always thank you so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Much appreciation for everyone who already has.